I want to transition to the world of pop culture and entertainment. And, you know, usually I don't like to have notes. I can speak extemporaneously and off the fly. But I'm going to grab my notes for some of this stuff right here. And the reason I'm going to grab my notes, ladies and gentlemen, because I want to make sure. I want to make sure that I'm reading the BS that I'm reading, okay? And as we venture into the world of pop culture and entertainment, you know, I'm not going to call myself the love doctor, but let's just say this. As a brother that I uh, was raised, by five women, 90 of my living relatives, 90% of my living relatives were females, okay? Obviously, that's dwindled over the years. They've gotten older. Some of them have passed away. God rest their wonderful souls. I've been raised by women all my life. And so a lot of times we're talking about certain issues, and I feel compelled to give a male perspective. That doesn't mean I'm going to always favor the men. But I do feel that after Oprah took over for decades and did what I believe to be, I'm getting emotional right now, dare I say unfair to men, I feel that somebody's got to even the scales to some degree. We in year 2023. Why not? Why not? I got women working for me on my show, you know. And so they help some of this stuff together for me, so it ain't just my fault. The name is Sherry. She's one of those people. She's guilty, too. She's guilty, okay? Samadra, my sister, oh, yeah, she's a troublemaker. She's a troublemaker. Now, she, you're gonna see, you're gonna hear about her, okay? I got, I got all of these people. Arnell, don't forget her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Wait, who the, Betty? Ah, uh, you don't know the half. I got women around me, all right? Educating me, trying to reel me in and stuff like that, because they all Oprah-fied. All of them. But it ain't going to work because there's certain times that stuff got to be addressed. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see this story about Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson? Saw that movie, Think Like a Man? Remember that scene where my brother, one of the great, great actors, Michael Ely, pointed out Steve Harvey's a traitor? because we were talking about the book and some of the things that he revealed. I'm not going to go there. We see this beautiful picture of her. A lot of work done. Good, beautiful, beautiful picture, beautiful picture. Anyway, this brother, a champion, a former NBA player, again, a champion, LeBron James' former teammate, that guy is sitting on national television talking about how he cheated. And I want to make sure I read this quote. Uh, uh, he sits down with Chloe's family members. Okay, that would mean Kim, Courtney, Mama, Mama Kardashian, all of them, to discuss his past infidelity. Quote, when I cheat, I feel disgusting the next day. Chloe asked him, so then why do you do it again? We didn't see the answer to that. But Mario Lopez... Y'all know him, okay? This guy comes out, and he sits up there, and he says, when I cheat, my guy is saying it like it's a weekly occurrence. Ha ha, you know, he hosts, he hosts extra and all of that stuff. Mario Lopez is absolutely right. Tristan Thompson, first of all, you talk about when I cheat. First of all, you're incriminating yourself, you're just embarrassing yourself. Secondly, you're embarrassing yourself by being on the damn show because you're a grown man who was a professional athlete, who was an NBA player and a champion. What the hell are you doing on the show to begin with? That's another matter altogether. By the way, if you're with the Kardashian family and stuff like that, I know you got two kids together. Did you ever think your kids could be watching? Did you really, really want to publicize to the world how you cheated? Why can't that be? If I could tell Jada to shut the hell up and stop telling her personal business, I damn sure could say it to you. Fair is fair. But Mario Lopez is right. You saying it like it's a weekly occurrence. So in other words, when I cheat, you know what that means, right? You didn't say cheated. Should I put you in English class? You didn't say cheated. You said when I cheat. In other words, I'm doing it now. Damn. Think, brother, how stupid can you be? That's just not smart. It's just not smart. And just as an aside, those Kardashians are making some money. You're not. Not to the degree that you once did. 
So if anybody should stop cheating, you might want to think it should be you. Just a thought, my brother. Just a thought.